What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an updated video on how to ship video games. I did make a video on this in the past, maybe two or three years ago, and more recently I've had a lot more comments, a lot of people asking questions about this, so I decided to make an updated video not only on that, but also because how I used to ship video games back then is completely different than how I ship them now. So let's get right into this. So how I used to ship video games back then is I would purchase the bubble mailers from the dollar store. It was the yellow craft bubble mailers that you see and because they were cheaper that's where I used to purchase them. Now it also would take the video game and I would wrap it in bubble wrap before putting it in the bubble mailer. And to me that's just completely unnecessary nowadays unless you have a more expensive game, a game that is maybe $50 or more. To me the added bubble wrap is not worth it because shipping how I do now, I've never had a returns, I've never had a complaint, I've never had any game arrive damaged and I do take pride in how I ship my stuff. So I did cut out the double bubble wrap but they still do arrive safe and sound even if you don't double bubble wrap your games like I showed in the last video. Now the bubble mailers that I use are completely different. Instead of the yellow craft ones, I do use these white ones that you can get from anywhere that sells shipping supplies. The benefit from these as opposed to the yellow craft paper ones is number one, they don't tear easily. They are nice plastic. Number two, 100% waterproof. And the other thing is the price. So these do cost a little bit more obviously than the craft uh, the yellow craft paper bubble mailers. However, these are only about 25, maybe 35 cents more per bubble mailer than the other ones are. So you're paying a little bit more for these, but they last a lot longer. And the other thing is you don't need to add extra tape to them because the sticker part here to seal it up is really, really strong on these ones here. I do get these in bulk. I do get them from Staples. You can get them pretty much anywhere, but from Staples, I get them for uh, maybe a pack of 50 or a pack of 100 so they do last me a long time as well instead of always having to run to the dollar store because the dollar store only sells them in packs of four to five so you, if you go through them a lot buying them in bulk like these ones here does benefit you as well. Now the only thing that I stick with that I used to do whenever I shipped video games is with a video game and whenever you open it up here the one thing that I still do that I did back then was I always take a piece of either bubble wrap or crunched up piece of paper and I do stick it over the center here and then close it up before I put it in the bubble mailer. The reason for that is in case the game was to dislodge from the holder, if it were to pop out, the case is closed. The game is just going to bounce around inside the case during transit and that could damage the game. If you add that bubble wrap there or uh, at least something in between, it won't hopefully dislodge and if it does, it's also still not moving around. If it does, it's not too much and that will save you. The other thing is, like I said, I don't double bubble wrap it so I literally used to wrap this in bubble wrap and tape it up and then toss it in a bubble mailer. You don't need that anymore. All I do now is I take the bubble mailer, take the video game, toss it inside, seal it up, good to go. That's all I do now. Now, the only other thing would be if the game's worth $50 or more, then it might benefit you to assure that it's going to arrive safe and sound. But shipping this way, I've never had a customer complaints. I've never had anything damage uh, be sent and received by the buyer damage. I've never had any returns or anything. If you pack it like this, it will also save you with shipping costs because it is cheaper than it is if you do it like I used to do with the double bubble wrap. Now, the reason for that is because the thickness isn't as thick. So this will actually be able to ship anywhere in Canada for oversized letter mail. And for shipping it how I used to ship it, it would be too thick for that. So shipping it with the double bubble wrap on that, you're likely looking at, for one single video game, 10 to $15 to ship it anywhere in Canada. That's without tracking. If you add tracking on top of that, then it's likely $20 or more anywhere in Canada. Shipping like this, however, is a lot cheaper. So shipping this game without tracking, if it does fit in the slots and the thickness is right, you can ship it as oversized letter mail. If you do, it goes on weight as well. So if it's between 100 
to 200 grams as the weight. You should be able to ship it anywhere in Canada for $3.60. If it's over 200 grams, so if it has a thicker manual or something like that, or maybe it has two discs inside, it's likely gonna be a little heavier. Then you should be able to ship it anywhere in Canada for about five to $5.50 anywhere in Canada without tracking. If it is something like a DS game, usually they're lighter, and if it's under 100 grams, it should be able to ship anywhere in Canada for about $2.15 without tracking tracking. Now to ship this way, my rule of thumb is if the game is valued over $30, I'll always put tracking on it. So to ship something like this with tracking anywhere in Canada is about $10 to $12, depending on how far it's going and also depending on the weight. So even shipping it with tracking for let's say 10 to $12 compared to shipping it the other way for $20, there is definitely a price difference and shipping it the other way without tracking versus this way without tracking, even if it is the a uh, heavier game if it's over 200 grams, that is gonna be shipping for $5, let's say, compared to $15 shipping it the other way. So you definitely are saving, and it still is gonna be safe and secured in here. It's still in a bubble wrap, but you just don't have that extra bubble wrap, which in my opinion is completely unnecessary unless you're selling a game that is over the value of $50. If it is, maybe you want to add extra protection, but in my opinion, it still is unnecessary. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Just a quick little update on how I ship video games because I've had a lot of comments on the past video from two or three years ago. So I wanted to make this update because I ship my games completely different than how I used to. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.